name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. On this day, dearly beloved, we keep the festival of all saints under one joyful celebration, in whose society heaven rejoices, under whose patronage earth is glad, by whose triumph holy church is crowned. In their confession, the more grievous was their suffering, so much the brighter now shines their glory. For while the conflict increased, so also did the glory of the contest increase, and the triumph of martyrdom was derived from the multiplicity of suffering. And moreover, the weightier the torments, the weightier were the future rewards. And now our mother, the Catholic Church, spread throughout the world, has been taught in her head, Christ Jesus, to fear neither shame, nor cross, nor death. She had flourished more and more, not by resisting, but by enduring. And into all those who have been gloriously united in the bonds of suffering, she has breathed a like and equal ardor of courage, inspiring them to enter into battle and to triumph gloriously. For the ineffable great goodness of God provides this, that the time of toilings and sufferings should not be prolonged, should not be drawn out or endless, but short and, in a manner of speaking, momentary, that in this brief and short life there should be sufferings, but in that which is eternal, crowns and rewards for merits, that toils should be quickly ended, but rewards for merits last forever that after the darkness of this world, the saints should see the light of shining brightness and receive blessedness greater than all their bitter sufferings. The apostle bearing witness to this in this place where he says, the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost.